All right, guys, here's a, a loop update for you. So I've been working on a loop now. Unfortunately, I've only got this 40 volt DC cap to work with. That's the only cap that I've got that's large enough to smooth out the rectified DC from the the Variac. Now the Variac's connected up the same way as last time in the previous video when I was charging the bicycle battery, which charged pretty well. I've been using it. It's got me to work and back a couple of times. But <clears throat> anyway, so the Variac's connected up to the generator rectified via that module and then smoothed out via that cap there it's a 40 volt 10,000 microfarad um, the output of that is then in series with the input power which is about 149 volts DC we can check that in a minute but Pretty sure that's what it's sitting at. This wire here is just my phone on charge because the battery's dead. Anyway, that's so annoying. Right, so at the minute, this capacitor is sitting at zero because the Variac is sitting at zero. Right. Gonna slowly. Oh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll get the flick out. Hang on two seconds. Bear with me a moment. I'll get the big tools out. <laughs> Alright, so this is my input negative side. This is my input positive side. So, sorry, I was wrong. This is 146.6 volts as the input. Alright, and so far, there's nothing being looped through. Right, I'm going to turn the variac up. Let's see. It's going on. Oh, I need to switch the Variac on here. Okay. So, you can hear the generators actually slow down. Okay. Four, six, now I'll turn the Variac up. So we've now got current going into the generator. That capacitor is now at 20 volts. The input voltage has risen. And the RPMs of the generator has increased. Turn up another. Now we'll just get it up to the maximum voltage of that cap. I don't want to go any higher really. Because like I say, it's the only cap that I've got that's nice enough to do this loop. So anyway, the voltage is at 187 volts. The Variac is sitting at... 4550 volts there on that side, but the voltage coming in is a little bit less than 240 volts, so... That's why there's a slight variation there. Now, we can measure the output voltage also. This plug here that's connected to the generator is just the fan on top that's keeping the circuitry cool. Not that it's necessary, I don't think it is. Anyway, let's check the output voltage of this.
242 volts AC, turn that light off. 242 volts AC. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, now the RPMs, now that it's up to 180. 870 RPM. So with a big enough capacitor, because like I said, I've only got a 40 volt capacitor. With a big enough capacitor, I think the loop would be possible. You could just disconnect the mains. I think the input side, possibly. It's a work in progress.